I think this is the real spot. America. Before I get into Chorn, I wanted to give you guys an update on the fallback pigs. Because somebody asked, what do the fallback pigs look like when they get to be market weight? Do they ever get to market weight? Is there ever any pigs that come out of whatever they were fighting in the beginning when you pulled them? Or do they all stay small or do they all die? What, what does that look like? Here is the rut pen that we started with about four or five months ago, six months ago when um, we pulled these pigs. So these were all the little ones that we pulled. And see, this pig obviously just won't ever get to be a full market hog. It's been here as long as this pig has but it's just genetically not as gifted as this one is same with those two pigs right there that pig is obviously way smaller than that pig and this pig too and there's nothing wrong with these pigs they just aren't the cream of the crop they're just genetically not as gifted as these ones where they can eat and eat and eat and they'll grow like a weed and then you got just late bloomer over here so what will happen with these smaller pigs if they can't get to full grown market size, which I highly, highly doubt they will, they'll go to what's called a secondary packer like Oscar Meyer and they'll get made into sausage, bacon, hot dogs, brats, whatever. They're just not your premium cuts. They're not gonna be your, your pork butt, your, your pork belly, your ribs, your you know pork chops, your Iowa chops. They're not gonna go and make that. They're gonna be most of your ground products but your big boys here they're going to be the high quality chops high quality pork belly pork butt plus they'll have some ground products too but they're going to go to a primary market so there are just a mix here there's some small pigs but there's also some big fatties that came out of it and just needed to just needed some time and just needed to get some special care some mat feeding and just needed to be around other pigs like them in the beginning and they ended up coming out of it so it's just a real good mix in here this is kind of the funky pen of the bunch that's kind of what the fallbacks look like there's just a it varies it just varies depending on the pig but uh you know some don't make it some make it and they're fully grown and they look great and some make it and they're they just never make market weight and that's all right but and the, and the pigs that go out on the secondary market will be the last bunch of pigs in this barn so we'll take all the pigs that make market weight and then all the pigs that don't quite make market weight they'll they'll be the last group of pigs we'll send out of here so we'll sort out those fatties we'll sort them out um but the the ones that are small they'll stay until the last final load i'm up here at my site now and i figured you know what i'm gonna give you guys an update on spot because we haven't given you guys an update in a while but there he is he looks damn good he's filling out nice he's not you know i think all that time all those times we picked him up he's really not he's really not afraid of us much he likes to come up and see what's up but he is he's filling out real good looks damn good and then we got another spot over here we got a this is spot number two and this is my favorite pig out of the whole deal over here so this is spot number two and i think this is the real spot because he has got some he's got spots on his face he's got spots on his on his on the top of him and he's got spots on his ears even his ears are black a little bit so he is a unique looking pig pretty damn cool looking uh and he is definitely my favorite pig out of the whole bunch for sure he he is wicked cool you don't see that very often you see spots on the belly spots on the on their back but you don't really see it much on their on their face or even their ears but he's filling out really good too so that's my favorite pig it's orange pigs there's more spotted pigs but those are the two that dad and i really like and i forget i think cat liked an orange pig in this in this uh in this pen as well but i forget which one it is i'd have to have her come up here and look but these pigs overall are doing really good we had a little bit of strep going on but you'll have that no matter what kind of group you get in it just depends on it just fluctuates on how bad the strep is but overall we have not lost very many pigs up here at all this has been a great group right off the truck they they filled out nice uh they got they got acclimated pretty well i already hung up the nipple bars in the south room because they don't need them anymore and they'll just knock them down so turn the waters on the feeders 
Got put hanged up the nipple, hung up the nipple bars, and they're they're flying with colors now. So the next step really is to just keep watching for fallback pigs and uh, pull them if needed. And then here in probably less than a month, we'll be sending out overstocks. And then we'll open up all the pens. So the fun never stops. I'm here with Kingpin, and we're heading to the lumber yard, the local lumber yard in our town, and we're going to be picking up some some lumber so that we can start up on our shop project you guys saw that we got that concrete poured a couple days ago concrete is done it's poured it's cut it's dry and it looks phenomenal and now we have some walls that we'd like to make look nice and we'd like to hang some shelves on so what are you thinking we're gonna grab here what's the game plan uh, 10 sheets of plywood and 42 two by sixes, 10 foot long, and some treated two by sixes for the bottom, and some insulation. That ought to make a good start. I hope and you brought your checkbook. Once we screw that all up, we'll be back from Lumber's work. down though, isn't it? Lumber is down a little bit. Let's see, let's see whether or not there's any money. All right, here we go. Didn't bounce. We must be good. So your check didn't bounce, did it? I don't know, we'll know in a few days. It, they seem to take it okay. I already called it quits. <laughs> if you can just use that mind of yours to somehow Try move to... this to there. I've been trying to use the force, Luke, but it hasn't, it hasn't worked yet. I Yoda hasn't come and taught you much, has he? No. But in all seriousness, we got to get some shit done today. So we're going to take this uh, plywood and we're going to put it up against this wall. And this is where we're going to hang our shelves. And then the two by sixes are going to go on this wall when we go to steel or tin and insulate that wall and make it look like that wall over there. This project's a little easier and we don't have the insulation for that side. So we're gonna start with this wall first. So the only reason we're insulating this is because someday this room, which is 20 by 25, we might use some, we might use that for something like, we may put bathrooms in there, break room, something where we would keep it air conditioned or heated the year round where the rest of this we're probably only going to heat if we heat it at all we're only going to heat it you know to maybe 50 degrees in the winter time or something like that in the summer it's probably not going to be climate controlled We got a visitor, or should I say visitors? Leo, what do you know? Did you bring us anything? Any snacks? Just a water. I can go pop in some. Cat! I can go pop in some one minute muffins. Come on now. No snacks. Nope, that's Trisha's job. She's good in the kitchen. Did you get the video edited? Yep. When's and it gonna it, be yeah. out? Uh, Sunday. And then when's this video gonna be out? Next week. Whenever you get her the foot. Whenever I get you the footage? <laughs> yeah. Whenever you get the footage. What do you know? Those are some sick collars you got on there. Oh yeah, show them. America. 
That's some that's some sick stuff now right there. Now you gotta tell them where they're from. I don't know where they're from. Tactical dog gear. Tactical. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. American made. What do you think? Are you just chilling? Huh? You the best boy? Oh! <laughs> That was Last horse. piece though. Last piece for today. The saw horses are gonna collapse now. All right, so we got majority of it done today. What do you think? Leo is very proud. I think we need a little scaffolding to do the rest. That little two foot piece be a lot easier standing off a piece of scaffolding than trying to do it off of step ladders. Yeah, not very tall I anymore. agree. I agree. What do you think, Kat? Looks good. Think, Looks we, good should, think we should paint it? I think we should paint it. Paint it white? Yeah. So it matches? It's yeah, it does have a little, a little bit of contrast. If you get enough dirt on it, it'll all look gray anyway. <laughs> 